All right, so we are inside Goha level right now, inside the dashboard, and we are currently under the sub account that I'm going to show this to you. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to take you through this. I went through the back end quickly and just checked everything. Because we don't use it anymore, um, and we don't use it for our sub accounts and our clients, um, and internally, we decided to not pay the subscription anymore, so we still have access to our platform and our dashboard. However, it is not available to us um, to make any further adjustments or changes. So I'm gonna just show you the high level overview on how you get this connected, how you set up a custom menu item like that as a WhatsApp integration button that will show up in all your sub accounts. Um, I'll also then show you which app we use for the WhatsApp integration. Um, and then what settings you need to change under the uh, agency and sub account so that you make sure that it won't work with the SMS, um, the typical SMS text, but it will use the same functionality of SMS, but replace it with WhatsApp. So let's dive into that and let me show you how to do it. So first thing I need you to do is obviously go to, uh, there's no affiliate link here, so don't worry about it. The first thing you need to do is go to WGHL. WAGHL is the one we use. It costs roughly about $29 um, a month per sub account, depending on how many you might have, you can obviously talk to them. Um, but if we go into their website, website quickly, you can have a look. They give you a full on instruction on how they do things. They work with like Lead Connect and Twilio, etc. So it's a very, very good tool to have. We found this one works better, especially um, in our country, South Africa, um, and uh, probably a few others. Depending on the country you're in, you might be able to use WhatsApp integration with inside Go High Level. We found that it isn't, you know, efficient or successful in delivering, and this is how this guy came about. So WAGHL is what we use, and as you can see, for one sub account there, and obviously, like I just mentioned, if you've got many sub accounts, 11 plus, they're obviously going to give you a discount. So that's cool. You can obviously talk to sales, like they say, and then figure out a better pricing if you wish. Once you've done this, you can follow the uh, you know, tutorial on how to get started. So uh, if you have, click on free trial, they'll give you one. You can watch this video of theirs. Very intuitive. Welcome everyone. Simple. It's probably made <laughs> with some voiceover, but um, it tells you exactly how to do it if you wish. Otherwise, just carry on watching this video. Nevertheless, if you get into your dashboard, this is more or less what you're going to see after registering with them, getting your uh, account set up, etc. This is what a dashboard looks like with them. Uh, not the greatest, but um, all you need to basically worry about is users and users is obviously going to be all the sub accounts. Now you're going to have to, I'm going to block out this information obviously, but location ID is what you're going to need to link this to the software uh, app. And then obviously the location name, which is obviously the sub accounts name. Uh, all of ours is deactivated at this moment, purely because I did say we stopped using it. Um, I won't get into that. Nevertheless, we have stopped using it. And how you're going to do this is obviously we need to then go and integrate a custom menu item inside of Goha level after registering with WAGHL and I'll show you how to do that now quickly. So after registering, you're going to have a bunch of emails that are going to come from them regarding your login details. They're going to give you custom passwords and they're also going to give you access to your custom agency portal for your Go High Level. Then once you've got all of that goodies, they're going to send you a uh, like an API link of some sorts that link is what you're going to need once you go back to agency view because we're going to have to create a custom menu link inside of the agency view once you go to agency view uh, on the top here there's agency view i'm currently in the agency we go down to settings once we're in settings we're going to click on custom menu link and this is where we're going to have to create a new one obviously as you can see it was the only thing i created there's my custom link i, I can't show you the rest of it but there's our custom link that we have for Go High Levels WhatsApp integration with this uh, WDA GHL. And then all you need to do is basically click on this. I want to create a new one. And obviously with it being WhatsApp integration, we're obviously gonna look for a WhatsApp icon. Click that, make sure it's linking. And then we can call this, you know, menu name, whatever we want. I'll call it WhatsApp integration. And then that link that you got in the email is what you paste here. That link that I just said I can't show you, that is what you paste here. We obviously can leave the rest of the settings if you, you know, as you wish. Um, this is completely and utterly up to you how you'd like to do this. We didn't put it under the agency bar, uh, we just put it under sub accounts. And then whoever, you know, fitted the category that we needed for WhatsApp into automations and so on, we then allocated and kind of did a bit of hand holding to get them going. Once you've done this and you've linked the, put the link in there, you click save. 
it will automatically create this sub uh, the custom menu link on the side here whatsapp integration for this example um, once you've done that you can then go to the desired sub account so now that we're back in the sub account what we need to do is go back to the settings as you can see it is here um, our whatsapp integration let me just move myself our whatsapp integration is here but we need to go into the settings to make sure that we're not using go high levels sms functionality let's go through this quickly if you want to do that we're going to have to go back to the business profile of the sub account itself and we're going to have to copy this location id that you'll find under general information right here this account location id is what you're going to have to put in here for example let's put in the account's name and we're going to put in the location id for example there we go add location once you've done that it will now activate it inside that sub account and you'll be able to then find underneath lead connector as your default sms advanced setting you'll find wa1 connector and once you've added that location id and you've set the name to it it's going to obviously show you all your sub accounts and your agency so you're going to have to then select the one that is relevant once you've done that we, there's your wa1 connector and you click proceed it has been added successfully and it will redirect us automatically to our go high level ad account so once we've done that all i need to do now is just go back into settings back to phone numbers and then under the advanced settings just go make sure that the wa1 connector is selected so let's do this it is now set as default now we can go back to the main menu and connect it to your cell phone's whatsapp now once you click on whatsapp integration on the menu here that we just created that button you're going to find something like this this is the page that they give you which is your qr code for your specific sub accounts location you can watch this video on the side if you have an android or an iphone to obviously do this i'm going to um, do this on an iphone so all i need to do is connect the qr code to my whatsapp so once we've now got our whatsapp open we're going to basically just go towards settings on the right hand side here and we're going to look for something called linked devices after we click on linked devices what we're going to do is go as you can see that qr code just refreshed so you're going to have to do this pretty quickly this code is now here all we need to do is click the green button here or scan qr code and then we just bring it right to the screen and it will say connecting if it fails all you need to do is just wait a few seconds it might connect if it doesn't we're going to click cancel and then we're just going to have to try again so let's give it a shot second time around uh, i see what the issue is it's because it's connected to another location this number nevertheless it typically takes two scans once the scans are complete your go high level will show you here where the green says please scan your whatsapp account it will show you connected and then obviously your profile picture for your whatsapp will take preference instead of the qr code standing there however if you feel any any uh, uncertainty about what you're doing here just click this video here to watch it and understand whether you're on an android or an apple phone which way to follow on your whatsapp so that's how you do whatsapp automation or integration with your go high level account through the app that we prefer of which is called WGHL, W A G H L. So it's up to you, whichever way you want to do it. If you want to set up automations, I can make another video about that, but it is really simple. Instead of using um, your typical SMSs, because you've changed the advanced settings, you go to automations and all you're going to have to do is set um, an automation in place to rather, let's create one quickly, if you will. I'll create an automation here quickly. I don't think we'll be able to run any tests because it won't connect the cell phone however let's just create something when you do your trigger and you've got your opportunity created or updated what we're going to then do is look for some you're obviously going to send an email but how do you get the whatsapp working so all you need to look for is the sms functionality and you're going to click on send sms because remember in the settings under advanced settings under phone numbers we've replaced lead connector from our default which would be a text functionality We've now replaced it with the whatsapp connector so you're still going to use the same thing inside of your actions in automations but then you're going to type out your whatsapp and let it be what it is 
and that is your WhatsApp functionality right there. Click save, publish, save the automation, and Bob's your uncle. Obviously, I like to make sure every time I do an automation, I either put the attachment of the ad that we're promoting, or I also end off testing it and then send myself a test WhatsApp. I know this works. I hope that you got value out of this video and it actually opens your eyes towards how you do WhatsApp integration with your Go High Level account and how you can actually implement this for your clients should you be an agency owner. If you're not an agency owner and you have Go High Level for all your businesses under a group, kudos to you, it works exactly the same way. Just follow the exact same steps. Please excuse the fact that I skipped that step of adding the location. You might have to go one back, one back. But nevertheless, I hope you got value out of this video. Thank you.